Hi everyone, today I've got Tiger right by me. I'm gonna go and feed them in a minute. But today's video, I, so I desperately um, want to go through my kitchen cupboard with my cleaning supplies, because I've got a shed ton. It's jam packed and we all know I only use a handful of stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do today. The kitchen is like clean. Um, I'm just gonna sweep the floor. And then get something to sit on then we're going to be doing the cupboard so this is the cupboard we're going to be sorting today so there's all sorts in there i'm going to be pulling everything out going through it like there's so much stuff back there and i just don't use it i don't what is this stuff i might just keep them in the bathroom i can't even remember if i've used these but yeah, we're going to go through all of this. Like, I don't need this anymore. That's like for a ceramic hob. My partner likes using it on that still, but I've been using this stuff. Which has been really good. Here's me. I'm slowly emptying the cupboard. So this is some hand soap my mum got me very late in December. I've been slowly trying to get through it. I had two of them and I've been trying to get through my lavender ones as well. And I should have just stuck to one at a time. I would have used the gingerbread one up by now. The lavender one's almost gone, but I do have another lavender one in there. So I've got a few like duplicates of things, things I don't use. Um, stuff I didn't realise I had, stuff I thought I'd lost. So it's really good having a good clear out in here. And there's just so much I don't really need. And then while I was doing that, I had a couple of packets of sponges. I thought, right, I'm taking them out of the packets. I'm going to put them in this jar. So this jar I got from Poundland. It was a pound, but they do have them now, but I think they're two or three pounds. And I used to have my sponges by the sink, so it sort of looked half pretty. And then I thought I don't want all the clutter by the sink. So I just kept it down there and then I thought, oh, I could still keep them in the jar under there. Keep them all together. Get rid of all the horrible packets. So I did that. Then I kept getting all the stuff out of the cupboard and then I went for everything. So I thought I'd lost my, my roll of recycling bags. Like they could be in the bedroom for when I... From when I'm doing like a sort out of clothes or something. But I found like three or four rolls of recycling bags in there. And I found the same as black bags. I had two, three rolls, possibly more in there. I don't know how you lose them in there. It's not a big cupboard. So I'm very pleased. There's a few things I don't have to buy for a while. I was really annoyed as well though that there's rust marks in the kitchen. The kitchen was put in in June and now because there was a leak from the washing machine when we first put it in, it got soaked, the bottom shelf, or was it the top shelf? It might have been both. Um, so the two cans I've got in there obviously left rust marks, so I am going to recover, or reco I am going to cover the shelves at some point. I wasn't up for it this day, like all the cutting and everything, being like so precise and stuff. I just thought, get this job done today, I'll do that another day. So then I thought I'd clean the shelves. I think from where we fiddled about, like with the washing machine and that, there's like sawdust in there. It's quite a bit of sawdust round by where the thing is, where the washing machine goes. As you'll see in a minute. And of course it got a bit dusty. Because I think I've only cleaned it a couple of times. These shelves since I've had the new kitchen in. So as you can see there. The sawdust. And then when I'm done. I do clean the um, um, cupboard door there as well. Because it is a bit mucky on the inside and outside. They get really mucky easily. I did actually clean all the lower cupboards. That's another thing on my to-do list. I want to clean the tiles under all the appliances and stuff. 
and clean all the cupboard doors again and the little bottom bit. So there's quite a bit of sawdust on that bottom shelf as well. As you can see, lovely. <laughs> um, then I sorted through stuff. So obviously I had a keep pile, a bin pile. Well, I chucked everything straight in the bin. Um, a pile that I'm going to see my mum wants. And a pile that was just to go in. Well, I had two things that were going to go in the other, other rooms. One thing to go in my bedroom, one thing to go in the bathroom. I was just really desperate. If I could not put it back in the cupboard, I didn't want to put it back in the cupboard. But with some things I could have, I don't know, I could have been more like, right, I'm getting rid of this. But I was arming and arming about it. Like, I've got one of those eco eggs. I haven't used it. I've had it for, I don't know, a few years. And, um... I don't have the heart to get rid of it. I want to use it, but I need to force myself to use it. It's just I like to smell things. I like them to smell clean, if you know what I mean. And um, I don't know. I will try it one day, but hopefully it'll still be alright to use when I do decide to use it. So here's all the black sacks. It's like three rolls there and then it's like a single bag. I really don't know where they were hiding. I thought I had no black sacks left. And then it's just the same for like the recycling bags and bleach. I didn't realise I had two, two or three bottles of bleach. And more sponges. But because there was no room left in the jar, I just put them in with some other bits. So that's one thing I thought, oh, I'll put that in my room. I've got one in my room, but I could put another one in there. And I didn't realise my pink stuff was in there. I had to check it was the same one. I didn't have two things there because I didn't realise it was in that box. And then I just found all sorts of different like rubber gloves and like disposable gloves. And then these I used to put... um. If I'm using liquid stuff for the washing machine, I'll put it in there. Or the fabric softener, I'll put in those. And I've got a lot of those. I got rid of the coloured ones and I kept the clear big round one. Because I do have other ones as well. And then these, I haven't touched these since I sorted out the last time. So I thought I'd get rid of the orange one, keep the lavender. I told myself I'm going to use it because I love lavender. Hopefully I will. And there you go, there's like three bags, three, um, three bags, three rolls of the recycling bags. So, so far I'm going to be keeping this stuff, which I'm a bit annoyed because it's still a lot. And then, these are the bits I've decided to get rid of. So, these have gone soft, so I don't know if they're any good. I don't have the duster bit for that, that's gone missing. These bits, I'm going to see if mum's got any room for them she wants them um that's a stain remover i've already got one um that one and then the hob brights so i'm gonna start putting um all of these bits away and hopefully i can get rid of some bits in the process this thing sorted so far so that's hoover bags for hetty some big sponges i might still get rid of don't really need those i need to either use this or get rid of it i've had it for a long time it's the eco egg i need to decide what i'm doing with that <sighs> yeah i've got some magic sponges in there um a mixture of different gloves you know like rubber gloves and cheap gloves to wear for cleaning and stuff and that's just like a bottle brush um, and I've also got the charger, or well, a car charger for the cordless hoover in there. So that's pretty much sorted, I think. Oh, I like this. I've unwrapped all of this, put this in here. Please, for that. I wish I had, I'm not sure if I've got another one of these boxes. I need something to put all my black bags in and recycling bags because there's a there's lots of rolls that I didn't know I had. 
but i think i'm gonna put these two away all this big box away because i know it's sorted but i need to try and condense this slot down i might put some bits in the bathroom that i didn't even realize i have three bottles of bleach and i already had one of these toilet cleaners these are definitely going in the bathroom if I can fill it in, I might declutter the bathroom little drawers. These can go in there. That are by my toilet. But we'll see. Otherwise, that'll be in another video. Oh, but this is going to be fun. I'm going to try and put it back in and try and declutter some more stuff. I started putting the stuff back in. But I did on and on about where to put things. If I should keep certain things. It's a bit awkward because you've got the sink and all the pipes and bits in the way, especially on that top shelf. So before I had the kitchen done in June last year, that that was just one cupboard. Um, it was a cupboard with no shelves in. So I only had that bottom bit to put stuff in. So it's nice to have the extra storage space. But at the same time, I can only use half of it because of all the pipes and everything back there. So I tried to keep the low bits up there or as little as possible on that top shelf. I didn't want it looking too cluttered. So I put my sponges there, my two spare soaps. And because it's tall on the bottom shelf, I decided to put all like the bleach bottles, the toilet cleaner, and the stuff I use for the oven. I was umming and ahhing about this because I love this. I just didn't know if I should keep it in the end I did get rid of it but as you can see it went in I had to think about it again I think it's just because of the way things were fitting back in I thought there's not a lot of room so I pulled it back out so I did move that basket down one or I moved that spray down one because I thought it was better on the bottom shelf, there was more space. I do wish I picked up more of them containers. I think I got them from B&M. £2, £2.99, something like that. And it says cleaning on it. Or something like that. I can't remember if I found actually. I wish I bought more. They might have only have had two, I'm not sure. But I do wish I bought more. Hey, I'm just moving things about, trying to make it work. I did change things, but that top shelf pretty much stayed the same. I hope this has motivated you to sort out an area that's like this, maybe a cleaning cupboard or a different space. You don't have to... You can take your time to sort it out. I literally got the footstool from the living room, plonked myself down there and thought, right, I'm getting on with this. I'll take as long or as little as I need to take with this. It really d needed doing. I don't know about anyone else's cleaning cupboard. But there was a lot of stuff going on there. And like I said, I didn't know I had certain bits. I didn't know I had duplicates of stuff either. So it is good sometimes just pulling stuff out of the space and just seeing what you've got, seeing what you don't need, seeing what you can get rid of. Or even if you keep everything, maybe move it about so it's organised better or looks less cluttered. I am going to see if I've got another one of them grey boxes. Because I managed to get my black sacks and things in one of them other boxes. Oh, that is a thing for my oil burner. I didn't want to get it ruined so I put it in that great big bag. Um, what was I saying? I can't even remember what I was saying now. Yeah, I ended up putting my black sacks in that box at the top there so I could get them easily. But I do want another one in grey boxes to put my microfiber cloths in. But I suppose as we use them little, um, them sponges and the little, um, scourers, there will be space. Because I haven't got a lot of cloths and they're quite dinky as well. They're quite small. This is the final cupboard. It is a lot better, a lot more organised. Um, 
I would love to get rid of more stuff still, but I suppose as I clean it and all that, the bleach will go. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd really need to not buy any more hand soap. I've got two there. I've got enough sponges to keep me going. But that'll be my next like spray for the kitchen and whatever, the living room and stuff. That lavender one. And I really don't need to buy any more black sacks or recycling bags for a long time. So if I do, please tell me off. There's like loads there. They are bound to last like two weeks or more. So yeah, I don't need to buy any more of those. Well, more than two weeks. And then I might have another one of them little grey baskets. I hope I do because I want to put my uh, microfiber cloths in them. So it's all matchy matchy and it looks nice and it makes me want to keep it tidy. But in there I've got my oven mousse, my carpet cleaner mousse that I use on my sofa as well. Um, I can't remember what the yellow one is. Hold on. Elbow grease. Yeah, I've got elbow grease. I've got um, a Scylla Bang mould spray at the back. I've got Astonish Lime Blast Remover. I've got um, a washing machine cleaner. I think I'm gonna use all these bits, but again, you've seen what I use to clean with. It's not a lot. So hopefully I need to tell myself to remember I've got this stuff, get it down and then, yeah, just keep and stick to what I use. So these two bits are gonna go by the sink. That's gonna go in the basket by my sink. I'm not gonna buy those again. I have got a glass spray, but it's in my bathroom there's some bits i like to leave in my bathroom so it's easier to clean that um so these bits are going these bits are going in that's gonna go in my bedroom that's gonna go in the bathroom um these bits i think are gonna go in the bin because they're really soft i don't know if they're any good so i might hang on to them till the video comes out and get your advice um but that's definitely going because I don't have the thing for it. It's like a duster. And these bits, I'm going to ask my mum if she wants them. I don't know if she's going to want them, but I can only ask. Like I said, I don't need the hob right. That's for a ceramic um, cooker. Otherwise, I'd keep those. I don't need the floor cleaner because I have my flash mop. Um, what do I have? My flash mop and so i don't need this i don't want to get rid of it because i love lavender you know i love astonish but it's like no room for it I haven't used it in ages if i had another if i had a normal mop yeah i'd keep it um i just i want to declutter i need to declutter i need to get rid of this stuff um i'm not going to use that that's just been sat there i've only kept the other one because it's lavender and i'm going to try and use it I don't need this because I've got other similar bits and pieces in there to, like that. And I'm going to get rid of this because I've got a mousse version. Again, it's just about decluttering. There's nothing wrong with these things. I just need, look how much better and organised it looks. And of course, like I said, the black sacks will go down. Hopefully they go down and I'll just keep one spare soap, not two. And then the bottles of bleach go down as well. And these don't need to stock up so much on bits. So now I'm going to quickly, I'm going to clean this door. As you can see, it's mucky on the inside. I'm going to clean it on the outside and I'm going to clean the bit underneath as well. And then that is one kitchen cupboard clean, decluttered for now. And yeah, sorted. I started cleaning the door up. Um, I think it didn't show up on camera, but it was quite mucky on the inside. And then it gets mucky on the top there. So I cleaned the inside, the outside and the bottom bit. I was thinking about being lazy and not cleaning the rest of the lower cupboard doors. But I thought, no, I might as well do them when I'm down there. It won't take long. Um, I was lazy and I didn't want to do the top ones though. I'm going to do that when I, I don't know when, but soon I'm going to do like the tiles. 
I want to move everything out, um, give everything a good clean on the counters, you know, like under the stuff and behind it, and hopefully try and get rid of some stuff. Um, but I keep looking at it, I think, what can I get rid of? What's, I don't know, what can I get off the counters? I can't really think of anything. And I really need to, I can't remember what that cable is, I'm trying to think. But I keep Sophia's like painting stuff, craft stuff, paper in that cupboard in a little, well in a big basket. I think that might be the laminator lead poking out. But there's some random stuff in there as well. I really do need to declare all of them really, all my kitchen cupboards. But I think I, that's going to be well too overwhelming to do it one time so coming up I will pick random cupboards and I'm gonna just declutter it so there is one cupboard down and I'm loving how it's looking inside a lot clearer I can see where everything is and then I started on all the other cupboards I did I didn't film it, I did clean that washing machine because it had that mark on it and I did clean it like two days before but my mum was in the kitchen and when I was cleaning it and we were saying it shows up all the dust and they're just horrible like black washing machines and it does, it looks dirty all the time even after I've cleaned it, it look... but here's the rest of the cupboards And then there's that one I'm going to do. So another thing I didn't show, which I probably should have shown, but again, by the time I finished filming this, I was just like so over it, so done. I did clean out my cutlery, um, what do you call them? The things you put your cutlery in, cutlery tray. I cleaned that out because it gets lots of crumbs from like bread, cutting bread, like the crusty bread in there. It's really annoying and I've put off cleaning it, I don't know why, but I've finally cleaned it out today. I think I'm going to try and film a, quite a few decluttering videos, I don't know when, and but there's so much I need to declutter. I still need to get back in my bedroom, declutter my books, I still have two bags of books, hopefully soon because I'm sick of the sight of them. Um... I need to, I want to declutter my clothes, but I don't think I can pull out much on there because I do it pretty regularly. And I need to do Sophia's clothes. I want to do Sophia's books. Um, what else? And my kitchen cupboards. And there's still one big cupboard I need to do, my camping and tool cupboard. That is full of so much stuff. I want to declutter stuff in my hallway as well. So I don't know when I'm going to find the time, but um yeah i'm gonna be there's gonna be a load of decluttering videos um i want to try and find the time to do my room first i want my room back it's not a mess but i don't want my books in two big bags i want my books on the bookshelf um so i'm gonna sort through them in my head i'm i'm gonna get rid of a lot there's books there I'm never going to read or reread. And I want to make room for new ones I am going to read. So, yeah, I want to get on and do that soon. I really want to declutter my hallway as well soon. There's something I really want to do in there. I'm not going to share just yet. Um, but there's something I want to do in there. And it would be so much easier if I decluttered everything. Again, I don't know when I'm going to get it round to these things. There's so much to do. Not a lot of time. Not a lot of energy sometimes. But it is coming. It is on the way. So if you need to declutter stuff, we can declutter together. And just... I need to find the motivation as well. So it's motivation and time. And hopefully we can do that together. But that is the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. Hope you enjoyed it. 
and I'll see you soon.